All right, so at an 08 Chevy Silverado 1500, and uh, we're gonna change the ignition switch. There's a, there's a part number. And uh, yeah, so I pulled this bottom cover off. I was able to tip it up, tip the steering column up. Uh, first, you got to pull the uh, the little lever off. It comes straight out to adjust the steering wheel up or down. So basically, I pulled the bottom off. I wiggled it out. You can take this bottom cover off if you want. You probably. I grab a dead flashlight. It would probably make it easier if you did. Um, so first thing you gotta do is take this uh, fuse box trim panel off. You pull it off here, it comes off. And you're gonna have two Phillips screwdrivers or screws, one there, one there. And you're gonna have a little one right there. See that bolt? I think it's 10 millimeter. So you're gonna take that bolt off. And you take the parking thing and slide it back. There's two hooks. Then you take the whole hush panel thing and you just pull it out. So you grab it and pull it straight out this way towards the seat. And uh, there's some spring clips and stuff in there that hold it in place. So I'm going to uh, come up in here and there's a little switch right there that. Tells when the key's in. It's your little key dinger. So, let me actually get a flashlight. So if we look at the switch, the way this goes in, it comes up to the bottom of the steering column. And this is that little button right there that we're looking at. So, see it's got this little clip on the side right there. You're gonna depress this clip in and then rotate this. And then it should come straight up, I believe. And then, um, then we have to depress these little pins here on the side to get it out. See how they got like a little taper in them? So it should slide right in, but it's kind of sharper coming out, so it holds it in a little bit. But anyway, so let's see if we can get this out. So right here. You can see that little clip inside there. So I stuck the pick in and I just kind of hooked it while we rotate. And then that comes out. So there's that. And we're going to come down here. So right there. This is the bottom of your ignition switch. So I gotta take this little tab, pop the little red tab back a little bit, and push in the button, slide that back. Maybe. Got all this other, all these other plugs in the way. down this is, gotta get a little light on the camera and then once that's down this should slide out so that's out that'd be nice if I had a camera with a light on it so, let's see if I can show you. Maybe. Three hands. Ah. 
horn. So, let the ignition switch is unplugged. I'll turn the key. I think it goes to the run position. Maybe. All right, hold on a second. So, right there, you can see where the pick is pointing in. There's a little hole. That's where one of the clips is. Um, I was holding the pick from underneath and I was able to push in there. So you could push the one in. And then there's another one. Over here. See right under that. Let's see. The camera. Right there is the other hole. If you look in there, you'll be able to see the other little tab. You gotta push that one in, push in the one on the other side while pulling down on the switch a little bit to kind of hold them. And then it'll slide out. So I have this in the run position. That there. So like I said, I'm gonna grab the switch here, put a little down pressure on it while pushing in this tab. Coming over and pushing in this tab. Possibly. I can see it. Real difficult to see, but it's so what we gotta do is we have to match up these wheels here. weird all right look into some more all right I had I have a problem with putting my new ignition switch in so here's the deal what you're supposed to do you see how you got that little key notch there so you're supposed to have this set all the way to that key notch right there with the big gap sticking up and the way you get to that is you have to take your ignition switch or key and you have to go to the accessory position which is you go to lock and then you turn it back to accessory and that's how you get to this point here so when you turn it to the regular lock it's not there it's like someplace in the middle here so the switch is like in the middle there it's not it's not at a detent when it's in the lock position. I'm guessing that this key locks in the groove. See a little groove right there? So that key locks in the groove. I could not get this key to go backwards into the accessory position. 
it would go to lock and it would not go back to the accessory position. So locating this is difficult because you have to have it lined up so you it, it cranks. So what I had to do is actually remove the key and manually turn that back to the lock position. Um, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but you see how you got that wide tooth right there? That wide tooth is the one that's going to go into that detent. So when I looked up in there, I didn't have the wide one facing down. It was it was one of the regular teeth, which would have went into one of the narrower teeth on the uh, on this here. So what I did was the way you take this key out, you put you turn this to you turn it forward. I'm not I can't remember if it was the run position or if it was the start position, which one it was. But up here you got this hole. So I stuck this punch down, or the pick down in the hole, and you depress this little piece right here, and then the key will come out. I actually had to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get it to come out. It wouldn't just slide right out once I unhooked it. So something's up with that cylinder where it will not turn back into the into the accessory position. So I don't know if you can see in there, but. have to get a different type of light let me let me get a, a different flashlight all right I don't know if that's gonna be any better but you see inside there how you've got that slot that slot matches the slot on the back of the lock cylinder right there that goes into there so what I did was I took my other pick and I went in here and I wrote, I manually by hand rotated this until it stopped counterclockwise. So now that is in the accessory position. And that's how I got it so you could see the wide, the wide tooth at the bottom. So now I can put this, um, where is it? I could put this ignition switch in. Is this the one? Uh, I gotta see which one it is. Huh. Um, I don't think it's that one. It's got this coloration on it. All right, so this is my new one. So now I've got this set, so I can get the new one in. So when you go to take this this um, ignition switch out, you're gonna want to put it in the accessory position. So the one pass lock So turn it past lock to accessory and then you can remove this and then that's your locating notch in the accessory position. Um, I would unplug it first before you put in the accessory position. That way you're not turning things on and then unplugging them. Um, I say that's how I would do it. I'd unplug this first. Um, if you have the problem like I did where that ignition switch, that key will not turn backwards. And I jiggled it, I wiggled it, I pulled it back and forth. I tried to turn it by hand while moving the key in and out. It just will not go backwards into the accessory position. And I don't exactly know why. And at this point in time, it doesn't really matter because I figured out a way around it. And this is what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to put this back in. And then I'm going to take my little pick and I'm going to rotate the... Um, the switch a little bit so I can get that to line up so as I put that in there I'll probably have to turn the key to get it to line up and then um, and then we shouldn't have a problem um, I think this needs to be in the run or the start position I think it's the run position it's possibly the start position to to get that thing to push in it's one of the two but sure you'll figure it out so now after messing with this for a while I'm gonna go and finally put it back in correctly oh, that's the wrong one push 
that up. If yours goes into the accessory position, then you shouldn't have a problem. So there's that. Went right up in there. Now, I'm not gonna plug that in just yet. Because, uh, let's see. Another thing, when you go to take that lock cylinder out, I took this this little uh, this little switch switch off before I tried to take the lock cylinder out. I didn't know if it was gonna hit or anything, so that's what I did there. So we'll take this. Uh, so we'll leave that out. Go in the hole. So there. So I took that. I mean, you can hear it. That's turned all the way to the run position before you get the resistance of cranking. So this should go in like that. Actually, better. That's accessory. That's one, two, and that's crank. All right. It's gonna go in right about like this. Like I say, I have no no idea why that wouldn't. Yeah. Like, it, like I say, it just will not go backwards. And I've got I've got some practice on get on the GM jiggle because my uh. My other vehicle has been like that for years. I have the cylinder, I just haven't changed it. And uh, I, mean, I know how to usually get it to go. It just, like I say, will not go into the accessory position. So anyway, so that's in there. Controlling that. Let's put this back in. Take that to latch it. Make sure that's off. Oh my god, the picks. And we'll come up here. Found this to be kind of a pain too to get that in there. Trying to go in there crooked and jamming itself up the space. Clipped in, clipped in. Let's see. Awesome. All right. So, I want to run myself out. So, there you go. If you have problems getting your Chevy switch in there. That's the trick. It needs to be with this up and it needs to be in the accessory position, which is the position that is one click back from the off and lock. So, like I say, that's how I did it. It was quite the pain, but now I know. And now you know too. So, if you got a problem lining up your 
your uh, key switch and getting it to go in there right, then that's how you do it. So I'm going to put this back on. Let's see, this is the top. back on I'm sure if you've gotten this apart you know how to put it back on so I'm gonna stop fumbling around with this camera and uh, put this thing back together so basically I just took this top piece off and I, I managed to wiggle it out it probably would be easier just to take this this panel off too it's only a couple of screws and bolts and then um, It'd be easy to get this top piece on. I might end up having to take it off anyway, just because. I mean, it's easier to get the stuff out than back in. But anyway, so hope that can help somebody. Thanks for watching.